Help us find a cure for Rett Syndrome. About 1 in 10,000 babies is born with Rett Syndrome, and they're mostly girls. Rett Syndrome is a neurodevelopmental disorder. That means there are problems with the brain as it grows. The problems aren't about smarts or thinking, they're about the messages that the brain sends. But girls with Rett Syndrome like the same thing as you. They like using an iPad or going to a birthday party. They like to joke around and laugh and wear Halloween costumes to trick or treat. And of course they like eating a giant ice cream sundae. Girls with Rett syndrome might have a bad day where they're sick or maybe they feel grumpy or just sad. But mostly they're just like you. They hang around with brothers and sisters and friends. They watch television and laugh. Maybe they go on a field trip with their school. So maybe you're thinking, what kind of messages does the brain send in Rett Syndrome? Some of the messages about the hands. The brain says, you should bring your hands to the middle. So the girl might twist her hands, or she might clap her hands, or wring her hands. There's nothing much she can do about this. The brain says the messages, and the hands do what it says. The brain might say, put your hand in your mouth, and then the girl's hand will go in her mouth. Some girls wear special arm braces. This way, they don't have to worry about what their hands are doing. Because their hands don't work well, girls with Rett syndrome might need help to eat. And other things too, like writing or getting dressed. About half of the girls with Rett syndrome need a wheelchair. Some of these girls don't walk at all, and some walk in special equipment. This equipment might help them stand or might help them move. Every girl with Rett syndrome probably needs physical therapy to stay strong. She might take other kinds of therapy like horseback riding therapy, and she might have to wear equipment like leg braces. Many girls with Rett syndrome have trouble with breathing or holding their breath. Some girls with Rett syndrome need a lot of doctor's visits and have a lot of hospital stays. Another problem is the brain sends out a message to have a seizure. That's like a thunderstorm in the brain. Doctors are able to track these thunderstorms and help sometimes with medication. A larger problem might be that the girl is unable to speak so she might have to use a special communication book that will let her say what she's feeling or thinking or what she needs. She might even be able to use a special eye gaze run computer. With this computer, she looks at the words or pictures on the screen to create a message. And then the computer speaks the message out loud. As computers become better, more and more girls are able to use them to communicate. They tell jokes and stories. They're able to talk wherever they go, even though it can be a lot of work to bring a computer with you everywhere you go, just in case you have something to say. The great news is that medical studies are happening and scientists are working with girls who volunteer to help them figure out how to cure Rett syndrome. Girls who are in studies are very brave and helping the doctors figure out how to stop the brain from sending such mixed up messages. Together, we can raise money to help Team Rhett get closer to a cure.